So you brought up trademarking. What is trademarking and like why or when do we employ it? Sure. So this comes under the broader category of intellectual property. So um, many bus- there's many types of businesses out there, right? Um, you have service-based businesses, you have product-based businesses, but you can also have a intellectual property-based business, okay? And this comes into place when, for example, you're producing music or you're writing books, okay? Basically, it's something that you've created and it's stuck in a form of a, you know, WAV file or an MP3 or a book, and these can be protected, okay? A trademark in particular is a art or a group of words that are used to identify a business, right? And what you're doing with the trademark is you are registering that trademark with your state or with the federal government. And now that's going to protect that brand, right? It's basically a brand. So like if you look at McDonald's, the way that it's written, the colors that are there, um, the font that's used, that's going to be considered its trademark. And they've registered that with the state and or the federal government. And if somebody else goes and tries to use that same name or even something similar or something that might even cause confusion um, with other people as to what the brand is, they could have a cause of action against the user of that trademark. So that's what a trademark is. So essentially it's it's something that protects your ideas, it protects your branding, your you know, your logo essentially. It does yes. it does it cover a, a variety of different things? So it's mostly for your logo. It's usually for your name and your logo um, and your branding. That's really what a trademark is for. Um, if when you're talking about ideas, for example, um, that's going to be more of maybe in the patent world or in the copyright world. Okay. Mm-hmm. So a patent is like a new and novel invention. And basically with the patent, you are disclosing the intricacies of your invention or process to the government. In exchange, the government is saying that you have the sole ability to use this invention for the next 20, 30, whatever, you know, depending on the law at the time, 20 years, um, and no one else can use this technology. Once that patent is up, then it's free to the world, okay? So that's really what our patent comes down to. Copyright, on the other hand, is usually in relation to music or in relation to like a book or an article or something that's written or sung or spoken. That's usually what copyright is about. And same thing, when you have a copyright or if you copyrighted a book, for example, someone else can't go and just copy that book and start selling it um, under their own name. So in terms of the trademarking, um, and I obviously you give the example of patents, but I think probably for most of the listeners, trademarking is probably the, the, the thing that they should do or maybe even copywriting. Sometimes people look at this as un, unnecessary costs. And even though you spelled it out for us, do you recommend if someone has a unique name or a unique logo or brand that they should trademark it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, you in this day and age, your brand is everything, right? As a business, your brand can convey your reputation. It can convey the value of your business. Um, and you know, you can come to a point where like you just see two golden arches and you know exactly what that conveys, you know, Mm. and that trademark is so important, um, for a business. So I would definitely say that if you spent the time and effort to come up with a beautiful name, a beautiful logo, you have a unique, um, place in the market. Um, I definitely think it's worth, um, you know, investing in registering your trademark. 